Previously on Spoon Builds a Handy Dandy Notebook. Hmm. Wonder who that could be. Spoon. That's me. And now, the second part. About two months ago, I bought one of these. Yeah, this is uh, the handcrafted Joe notebook I got secondhand from eBay. It did not come with a crayon. It's not double-sided either. But yeah, it's constructed in the same overall way as the other notebooks available in our many online outlets. Uh, laminated covers, plastic textbook spiral. But this time the pages are made out of cardstock instead of construction paper. I got this because I could not find the toy for a reasonable price on eBay. But I assume that this is made to the scale of the toy. It's uh, small. They made it smaller than the one on the show so it could fit in a child's hand. Because if they made it accurate to the size on the show, it would be enormous. I had to do math to figure out how big this would be. And by math, I mean I drew a 7.9 millimeter circle in Illustrator and worked backwards from there, scaling up the most front-on orthographic view of Joe's notebook available which is a screen grab from the episode Joe Surprise Party. I'd say I got pretty close. I still have my doubts. I think I may have overshot it a little, but uh, the spiral, which was a rejected Steve spiral, fit through it perfectly. Like the genius I am, I forgot to mention the measurements on camera. The measurements for my Joe notebook covers are 5.35 by 5.81 inches. And it functions as it should. Size is one factor you have to take into consideration when making one of these. Another is shape. How do you get this shape? There are hundreds of ways to cut wood but very few ways to cut it into a shape like this. The most traditional way to go about it is to use either a jigsaw or a bandsaw, which come with their own set of risks individually. I do not trust myself with either of those instruments, so I opted to pay a company to laser cut the wood into this shape. Woodcrafter.com, check it out, not sponsored. Next thing you have to consider, the pages. Again, hundreds of ways to cut paper, but fewer ways to cut it into this shape and have it even. Cutting the pages out by hand with scissors gets you there, but it won't allow for these fine curves on the pages. Focus. Focus. And you gotta figure, how did the prop makers get this shape if they didn't use scissors, because those pages were immaculate. The conclusion I came up with is that they used a die cutter. Now, what is a die cutter? Die cutters come in various shapes and sizes, but basically the principle is you get a die, which is a shaped blade, kind of like a cookie cutter. You put the material on top of the die, and then you run it through the machine. It's either a lever, Can't help it, I'm a born lever puller. or a crank. In Notebook Crazy, I mentioned a company called Cricut who makes electronic cutting machines, but their first machine was released in 2003, one year after Joe's Notebook made its on-screen debut, so I ruled that out entirely. I got one with a crank. The Sizzix Big Shot Plus, again, not sponsored. I had a custom die made by someone on Etsy. Die was huge. A big foam encased die with wood backing. Welcome to the floor. 
I'm here on the floor to demonstrate how a die cutter works. It's got a crank, and that's for running it through. But what is it? I'll tell you. These are cutting pads. They are made out of dense plastic. They are dense, they are sturdy, they're durable, but they are not invincible. I expect them to shatter anytime soon. Look at that. Look at that battle damage. Anyway, this is the top cutting pad. This is the bottom cutting pad. So you lay down the bottom cutting pad first, and then you lay on the die. Uh, not all dies are made out of black foam and wood. Uh, usually they're just metal, much thinner than this. But for special shapes, sometimes they're like this. Let's go sideways today, yeah. So we load it on like that. And then we load on what we're going to cut with our die, paper. Uh, in the testing stages, I've noted that four sheets, it can handle up to four sheets. So we load on four sheets, and then we get on the top cutting pad. And now we watch it go. There we go. And get the cutting pads off. Fresh batch of gel pages. Rest. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to pull you all aside to remind you that within the show's continuity, Blue made Joe's notebook. Do you reckon she owns one of these? <laughs> The covers of Joe's notebook has two 9mm holes and four 7.9mm holes. My original cardboard Joe type had all 7.9mm holes. It worked just fine, but it wasn't correct. Where the 9mm holes were changed from episode to episode. I put mine on the left, just because. In scenes where Joe gets out the notebook and starts flipping through the pages, the holes on the pages would match the covers. Most of the time. When Kevin started using a chair-shaped notebook, his covers had five 9mm holes on the covers and one 7.9. The pages, however, did not match the covers and were all 7.9. A regular jumbo-sized crayon was used to draw the pictures, but if you were to put a regular jumbo-sized crayon in the spiral, it'll stick out weird. That's why, in the medium and wide shots, a shortened crayon was used to look more flush with the spiral. Yeah. And here's a comparison of the size. As for tools to get it this short, I personally used a box cutter. To all the younger viewers watching, always have an adult help you when using sharp tools. Here's a chart I made comparing the scale of a regular jumbo crayon to Joe's crayon to a bunch of other jumbo crayons available on the market. It's about a half an inch cut off of the bottom. So, unsurprisingly, making Joe's notebook was a costly affair. The Sizzix Big Shot Plus, the die cutter I got, will cost you about $137 on Amazon, plus what your state charges for sales tax. Custom-made die was about $38 from the Etsy seller I got it from. The laser cut wood. Four pieces for 15 bucks, not bad, not bad at all. So when you combine that with the cost of all the other materials you need to make a notebook, you're gonna be set back about $230 plus whatever your state charges for sales tax. Plus trial and error, but trust me, it'll be worth it in the end. Oh yeah, also if you want your notebooks to have this shiny finish and protection from crayon smudges, contact paper. Contact paper. So I guess that's it. Everything I did and bought to make Joe's notebook. I don't expect you to follow me exactly, but 
I hope this video serves as like a guideline as to how you could do it, not how you should do it. Okay, see ya. Maybe it's the way you ring the bell. It just makes me wanna yell. Come on in. How are you, my friend? Maybe it's the way you help me out. It's like music to my ears. It makes me happy. So happy you are here. I'm so happy I can call you, my friend. You're funny, smart, you're kind and true On you I can depend Maybe it's the way you sing along When we share our favorite songs That makes me happy, oh so happy You are here It makes me happy, oh so happy You are here